Dredging in deep water requires specially designed ships that are used to excavate and transport sand, silt, and dirt from the sea floor. There are a ton of different purposes behind dredging, all of which depend on the type of material taken from the sea floor. Today we are going to be taking a look at 10 of the most amazing dredgers in the world. DC Orisant First up, we have the DC Orisant, which was built by Royal IHC back in 2018. DC Orisant is a trailing suction hopper dredger that sails under the flag of the Netherlands. The dredger was designed to function at a maximum depth of 35 meters and was primarily designed for offshore wind farm installations. The DC Orisant uses what's known as a bucket wheel system for dredging, which means that it has an excavator with a rotating device that is mounted to the suction head that pushes the sand and silt up into the dredger. She has a maximum hopper capacity of 5,400 cubic meters and a maximum cargo capacity of 10,700 tons. The Orisant is 142 meters long by 23 meters wide and has a gross tonnage of 8,800 tons. Thanks to her dual engine system that puts out a total of 6,700 horsepower, this dredger is capable of reaching speeds of up to 16 knots. Mohab Mamish This cutter suction dredger is known as Mohab Mamish. Sailing under the Egyptian flag, the Mohab Mamish was built in 2021 specifically to maintain the artificial sea level area in and around the Suez Canal, the artificial body of water connecting the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. She was created to work in very harsh waters and at depths of up to 35 meters. With a gross tonnage of 8,800 tons, Mohab Mamish is capable of carrying a cargo capacity of 2,416 tons. She has a total install cutting power of 4,800 kilowatts and has room for up to 70 crew members. Mohab Mamish measures a length of 147 meters with a width of 23 meters and runs on two engines that each produce 19,550 horsepower for a combined total of 39,100 horsepower, which allows the ship to sail at speeds of up to 11 knots. Magnor Next up, we have the Magnor, a backhoe dredger that was constructed in 2016. This dredger measures 74 meters in length and a width of 20 meters. The ship has an excavator arm that was based on the design of the Caterpillar 6090. The hydraulic arm of the excavator has a total of 4,500 horsepower with a bucket that's capable of lifting a minimum of 67,000 kilograms of material while dredging. The bucket has a maximum capacity of 40 cubic meters and is capable of dredging at depths of up to 27 meters. On the Magnor, there are two large deck cranes that were designed to assist with changing the equipment used by the excavator, and you will also find a large deck workshop full of all the necessary equipment for a dredging crew. The backhoe dredger has a gross tonnage of 2,300 tons with a 690-ton cargo capacity. There is a single 5,500 horsepower engine on board that allows the ship to travel at speeds of around 11 knots. The Magnor was delivered to its owners in Boscalis in April of 2016 and currently sails under the Cyprus flag. Shanty Sagar now let's take a look at the Shanty Sagar, a trailing suction hopper dredger that, at the time of its construction, was the largest IR-class dredger on the water. Shanty Sagar was built in 2017 and was designed with a high-performance pumping system. The ship has a gross tonnage of 8,200 tons and an impressive cargo capacity of 10,300 tons. The dredging ship measures 107 meters long and 24 meters wide, and thanks to its dual engines, can travel at speeds of up to 13 knots. In total, the two engines produce 9,700 horsepower for the Shanty Sagar. The efficient trailing suction hopper dredger has a maximum hopper capacity of 8,000 cubic meters and has been sailing under the Indian flag since 2017. Mahuri the twin-screw trailing suction hopper dredger known as Mahuri was designed and constructed in 2016 and currently sails under the flag of the Netherlands. She is able to function in water up to 30 meters deep and has a hopper capacity of 1,840 cubic meters. What makes Mahuri so impressive is its ability to not only dredge up sand and silt, but also distribute it in very precise locations by ejecting it from the ship using 
using GPS coordinates to maintain perfect accuracy for land distribution. The dredger is 75 meters long and 13 meters wide. It has two engines, each capable of producing 950 horsepower for a total of 1900 horsepower, allowing Mahuri to travel at speeds of up to 9 knots. With a gross tonnage of 1700 tons, the Mahuri has a total cargo capacity of 1600 tons. Junyang 1 this is the Junyang-1, an extremely impressive trailing suction hopper dredger. The Junyang-1 was built in 2016 and was specifically designed for deep water dredging. The Junyang-1 has a maximum hopper capacity of 21,000 cubic meters, and you need a large ship to be able to carry all of that. At a length of 170 meters and a width of 31 meters, Junyang-1 is perfect. She has a gross tonnage of 20,600 tons and is capable of carrying a maximum cargo capacity of 33,200 tons. Minerva Here we have the Minerva, a trailing suction hopper dredger that was constructed for DEME by the Royal IHC. She sails under the Belgium flag and has been in operation since mid-2017. The vessel is 84 meters long and 18 meters wide with a draft of 5 meters. The hydrodynamic hull design along with its dual propulsion system allows the Minerva to dredge and conduct maintenance in very shallow water for an extended period of time. The dredger's hopper has a capacity of 3,500 cubic meters and it's able to conduct work at a maximum depth of 30 meters. The trail suction hopper dredger has a gross tonnage of 3,900 tons and a maximum cargo capacity of 2,700 tons. The Minerva has two engines, each putting out 3,250 horsepower for a combined total of 6,500 horsepower, and they allow the vessel to reach speeds of up to 12 knots. But what really makes the Minerva one of the most interesting interesting dredging ships in the world is that it was the world's first trailing suction hopper dredger to run on liquefied natural gas, or LNG. Creos here we have another cutter suction dredger. This one goes by the name of Creos. Creos was designed specifically with high pumping and cutting power, which allows it to dredge parts of the seabed that are made up of hard soil. The ship was constructed in 2020 and sails under the Cyprus flag. Creos is capable of dredging in waters of up to 35 meters deep. This massive dredger has a length of 152 meters and a width of 28 meters. The hopper on board has a maximum capacity of 1,800 cubic meters. In total, Creos has a gross tonnage of 8,900 tons and has a maximum cargo capacity of up to 3,900 tons. Arzana. The Arzana is a trailing suction hopper dredger and it was built for the National Marine Dredging Company in 2018. What makes the Arzana so unique is that it was specifically designed to operate and function properly in very high ambient temperatures. This was the first custom-built suction hopper dredger in the Middle East, and thanks to its shallow draft but large maximum dredging depth, it's considered to be highly maneuverable. The Arzana is 109 meters long and 25 meters wide. She is capable of dredging in depths of up to 35 meters and has a maximum hopper capacity of 6,000 cubic meters. As for the maximum cargo capacity of the Arzana, she is capable of carrying up to 9,300 tons. This dredging vessel is capable of reaching speeds of up to 11 knots thanks to its dual engines, each of which produces 5,650 horsepower for a combined total of 11,300 horsepower. The Arzana has a gross tonnage of 2,700 tons. She currently sails under the flag of the United Arab Emirates. Spartacus. Last but not least, we have the Spartacus. This massive cutter suction dredger was built in 2021 and officially entered service in August of that year. Spartacus is the largest cutter section dredger in the world, measuring at a length of 164 meters and a width of 34 meters. She has a gross tonnage of 18,400 tons and is capable of carrying a maximum cargo capacity of 6,400 tons. 
ones. Spartacus also happens to be one of the few dredgers in the world that was designed to run off liquefied natural gas, and thanks to her six engines, which produce an insane total of 59,200 horsepower, she is able to travel at speeds slightly above 11 knots. Spartacus is capable of dredging at a maximum of 45 meters and has a maximum hopper capacity of 8,400 cubic meters. The ship currently sails under the flag of Belgium. Dredgers are oftentimes massive in order to carry the right amount of excavated material from point A to point B, and it's no wonder why these ships seem so impressive. Which dredger was your favorite from today's video? Be sure to let us know in the comments below.